Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We do that as often as we can, usually several times per week. This is Life Lessons 228. We continue our Life Lessons series as you can hear. Uh, we've got nearly 1,300 of these for your listening pleasure and uh, we continue to add content as often as we can, as often as my schedule uh, will allow. Obviously, and I know this is sound weird to some people, but one thing that life may be trying to teach you is that you are your own brand. You are your own identity in, the, in these days. And whether you are selling yourself as the next good candidate for a job or whether you're selling yourself as uh, somebody who needs to be more visible on social media or uh, the next big, you know, a good date choice for somebody, you're always having to or having the opportunity to sell yourself effectively, efficiently, and hopefully very well. Problem is, most people don't do the art of this well at all, and ultimately that's where a lot of opportunities get missed because at the end of the day, if you can't market yourself well, if you can't sell yourself well, why should people take you more seriously than other people? And that's where opportunities get missed and things get out of proportion. Also, making time for relaxation, making time for self-reflection and, so, and self-discovery is also just as equally important as projecting an image. So finding the balance between becoming your image, but also finding joy in simplistic things or finding joy in things that are a little more just easy to deal with is also super important, necessary, valuable, and ultimately productive and um, beneficial. So uh, the next thing is understand that your life is a journey. Your life is a journey, meaning that you're not necessarily where you want to be, but you're also not where you need to be or would like to be going forward in a long-term fashion. And when you uh, dedicate yourself to growth and self-discovery, you make your life easier in terms of figuring out where it is that you want to go next, what it is you're trying to accomplish, and the why. The why that you're focused on accomplishment is almost as important, if not equal to, uh, the, the level of what you're trying to accomplish. If you don't have a compelling why, then ultimately your life will get out of balance really quickly because if you don't have a why of why you're doing things, it's harder to connect with what it is that you want to do and ultimately... Um, getting things going in a, in a better way is um, certainly something that you've got to consider and balance out in a new and meaningful fashion. So hopefully this is something that you have considered in at least some degree of larger form um, and be balancing in a more meaningful and directed fashion when trying to improve your quality of life. The next thing is change is inevitable. Don't fear it. Embrace it because it's one of the few things in life that's 1,000% guaranteed. You cannot and will not be able to change, change all things, but all things can change in any given moment and when you have a good relationship with change, you also have a good relationship with your own ability to affect the change that you want to see or need to see or would benefit from seeing and experiencing in your own life. If you're not passionate about change or you're, un or you're afraid of change or you let change control you rather than you control it, then at the end of the day, you will struggle in ways that are counterproductive, unhealthy, and ultimately lead you to a level of burnout. And so when a person gets burnt out, they make more mistakes. When a person makes mistakes, obviously, they don't create the life that they want. Be un unapologetically you, meaning find a way to embrace your own identity 
your own way of development, your own way of understanding how to be a better part of the world without being offensive or hurtful to anybody. When you understand that you are one of a kind and you embrace that truth, you will live a happy, healthy existence. So hopefully this is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.